from Anne Makes here on YouTube as well as annemakes.blogspot.com. Uh, the blog where you can see what I do with a lot of the things I haul in dollar store hauls um, to make crafty projects that I use on design teamwork, uh, that I find creative ways of using. Often I will have uh, project tutorials on my blog as well as I will link that with videos that I make for those projects. So I am sharing my Dollar Tree haul that I did. Uh, as usual, I went to Dollar Tree on Thursday, I believe, and we are now Sunday. Uh, life is hectic at our household. So uh, in our house sometimes, uh, not so hectic, but it's just I have very few opportunities to film video without major distractions. So here I am finally trying to film the Dollar Tree haul I did and I need to do this because I need to put the stuff away. So, I was excited to find these ladies and gentlemen at Dollar Tree and I hope you can capture the details of these charger plates. Yes, these are charger plates. They are a gold color. They are course uh, acrylic or plastic they're very like strong thick too but I love the detail in them you can feel the texture they're just gorgeous okay Dollar Tree brings out charger plates every year but this is the first time I have seen this motif this print and it is just gorgeous so I got several of those I actually got six and come to think of it I should have gotten eight and maybe by the time I go back there won't be eight but that's okay uh, they're just beautiful I want to use these with my fine china at uh, Christmas time or any other time that I bother to set a, a special table with my good dishes and my good china and you know make something special and the reason I got those is because I wanted some of the silver ones and frankly these look cheaper now compared to those uh, gold ones I've hauled gold one, I've hauled a few of these gold ones last year to use in my table decorating but I wanted some silver ones um, just I thought it would be a good idea to have these on hand in case I want to use these as a base for some uh, displays for decorating in my home uh, maybe some floral arrangements candle arrangements fairy garden type of things uh, Halloween displays Christmas and since a lot of my decor has been changing and I use a lot of this kind of silver now um, I thought I would have them in, in silver so this will still look beautiful with my china though I have to add that so what a great deal um, to get a Dollar Tree which makes me want to bring up this point that someone indirectly um, dissed my doing dollar store hauls on YouTube people doing haul dollar store hauls on uh, YouTube and that they must not have a life and come on why are you doing this and what kind of a crafter or blogger are you and you know what fully to you yeah so that's it in my defense I love shopping at dollar stores I work in the craft industry and I shop in the big stores as well I try to buy on sale on clearance with coupons and in dollar stores so I picked up some of these 8x10 silver frames uh, these are I thought these were really pretty and I hope to make the time to do some home decorating for myself not for anybody else for our home and I thought I should have these so I could frame some pictures and this and put them on the wall or have them for future DIYs. Uh, as you may already know if you follow my other videos, 
I recently suffered water damage in my basement studio slash craft room slash office and I decided to switch from using any cardboard boxes for storage to plastic. Everything's going to be plastic from now on or glass, something that's waterproof basically. So I went and to Dollar Tree in hopes of finding these little drawers again and they, they had quite a few. So I took every blue one that they had and I think there were only five of them and I will be using these to store little things again in my craft room because uh, it's not fun when water gets in there and my stuff gets ruined. Some other frames that I picked up, uh, these had just arrived at the Dollar Tree I was at. These are the ones with the hinge and you get the larger frame here and the small frame there. And I had an idea that maybe I could make some sort of a uh, little house with these kind of greenhouse thing, but I'm not sure that's going to work. Or I'll actually use them as is for photographs or for another project for a wall mural type of thing. This haul is a bit random because it's it's huge. It's it's there's a lot of stuff, and I I need to get this done and put the stuff away. So here I hauled some Wilton sugar sheets. They are edible decorating paper. I have hauled some of these uh, before and then the Dollar Tree I was at had a whole bunch of these. So I got some more. So these are, to you could punch them with that Wilton punch. It's like a paper punch but it's made for food. It's food grade. And I, I had bought punches and things like that at Michael's once a very long time ago they had this clearance of all the Wilton cake making products and I had actually bought one <laughs> so I have it somewhere in my stash so I'm gonna pull it out and I'll use it on this uh, but if I can't use my punch the punches like that you can also cut freehand and I also have a uh, Cricut machine that cuts uh, icing and fondant. So uh, yes, I, another Cricut that I have and, and this one is in my kitchen. So uh, I look forward to using this, but like I said, you can just use scissors to cut through this. You don't need to have fancy tools, but if you, if you were like me and you picked up some other Wilton cutting tools, uh, in dollar stores or in clearances at other stores uh, these this is what you use them though and with those tools so I got this one with the white and the red swirlies I got uh, one of the flowery ones I didn't get a lot of the flowery stuff because I have boys and so they're not into flowers that much but I got this funky geometric one and several of the white with the yellow stars. I thought this would be very useful. And I think you can actually cut these also with a cookie cutter if you put enough pressure. And yeah, that, those are all my icing sheets. Another edible item would be the Penko Japanese style breadcrumbs. Um, we love Asian foods and we love fried shrimp so I'm hoping to make that. I picked this up for my son. He loves to snack on these. The uh, Nissen bowl noodles hot and spicy with shrimp. I also bought a few more of the bachi, bachi uh, dark chocolate and the milk chocolate as well. It's in the milk chocolate's in another bag. So new at um, Dollar Tree that I was at and I have to go back because they weren't done put, uh, putting out the Halloween stuff and I did get a, did I get a few Halloween things? Uh, yes, I did get a few Halloween things that I will show you in this haul uh, in a little bit. So they had these vine reefs, willow reefs for a dollar or for, like for me it's a dollar twenty-five because I'm in Canada. Uh, so I picked up 
few of those. I think I picked up four. And as I was cashing out, the cashier said, oh, did you know we had smaller ones? So they do have smaller ones, about half that size, just to let you know. So this gives you an idea of how big they are. See, there's the box of panko. <laughs> kind of fits. So they're not substantial, but they're great for some decorating projects. Also new at Dollar Tree were these uh, wooden items, these uh, finish yourself wooden items. They had these little, what do you call these, shadow boxes with the multiple compartments. Another really nice wooden item are these boxes. So they have these nice wooden boxes. They're like a pencil box or a gift box. And you open it up. Whoop, there's some pieces, stray pieces of wood. And there's a ruler on top. So yes, you could use this as a pencil box or a pretty gift box or something for a DIY. And oh, I picked up another one of these phone stands. I have one. I have one already. I think it's really nice. I'll try to show you. And it has this chevron print on it. Was like it has a little stand there you can see and I, I can't show you my iPhone on it right now because my iPhone is being used as a camera so I just got another one for uh, another desk in my house because I really like the first one I bought so these are new to me at the Dollar Tree uh, and this is a great deal I find because I buy this product Gar uh, Garnier um, Intense this is the Garnier Intensive Treatment Skin Renew Masks uh, it's a dark spot treatment mask and any of these I've never bought this particular product but I am familiar with Garnier masks and stuff and uh, it costs way more than a buck <laughs> way more than a dollar twenty five at the drugstore or pharmacy or you know even a uh, big department store so yeah this is really a good deal so I got a few of those now for some really fun stuff the Halloween LED lights that I've seen a lot of people haul finally arrived in my neck of the woods they I only saw them available in purple and orange so I got a few of each so I would have them on hand for future DIYs especially for uh, Halloween and other times of the year so I got several of those I got more of the burlap ribbon rolls uh, I mentioned that these make cute little haystacks if you look at them like this they're cute for as is to use as a decoration uh, or of course use it as the ribbon so I just got more of these because I really like my idea of using these as mini haystacks and some sort of display or of course fairy garden and such so I got a few more of those it got a bag of sand so funny a bag of sand but uh, the sand outside of my house is not this color so I am justified in getting this one plus this one is clean <laughs> so I just got this for projects some sort of crafty DIY indoor garden thing of course I too had to pick up the bling bling uh, wrap the diamond wrap uh, six feet on a roll. Uh, I got the silver with the skulls, skulls and crossbones, and the spider, spooky spider. I got several of those, and I think I got uh, one with the pumpkins, and I got, oh, but I hate bats. Okay. I hate bats. We've had a bat problem. We had a bat problem years ago in this house, and uh, it's it's really no fun to end up in the hospital because of that. <laughs> so, uh, which we all did. Which really long story, not fun. So I hate bats, but I did. I'm pretty sure I picked up just one roll 
with the bats just so I would have them for my decorating. I also got the other ribbons that they have. They're sparkly. They're like they're like a sparkly satin ribbon. They're not satin, but anyway, they have them in black. And I think they also had orange and purple, and I think I got every color. Uh, the, oh, uh, I like to buy the stock up on the waxed thread for jewelry and jewelry and craft cording wax thread. This is great if you're into doing any book binding. Of course, it's great for jewelry making, um, and it's it's a good deal because you get how much do you get on here? I think you get like six or nine meters on here. So that's pretty good. So they have it in black and they also have it in beige. And I think I got, yes, I got the brown. I said beige, but it's more brown. So I got one of each. I already have some of this, but I always like to be stocked up. It's a, it's a staple for me and my craft supplies. Here's some more of the diamond wrap. This one is just orange, and this one is like the sparkly black. There's that orange ribbon I was telling you about. The other Halloween things that I haul is a bag of the tinsel pom-poms. There's a hundred in here. That's pretty good. Kind of cute. I don't know what I'll use them these for, so that's why I just bought one bag because I just didn't know. I just thought, I'm not sure, but I should buy them because I'll be upset at myself if I come up with an idea and I don't have any. So, got those. Oh, and I love these felt stickers. These are like the witch's accessories, her hat uh, and her shoes. The witch's, I just thought these are so cute. So these might be fun to uh, decorate paper clips. They'll be fun on a card for sure. Uh, just whole bunch of uh, fun fun project ideas this has purple hats black hats and her black and orange uh, shoes I got some owls some felt sticker owls i would be cute and oh my favorite are the ones with the cats of course there's bats in it too I didn't care for the bats I want the kitties I want the Halloween kitties the black kitties because as you may already know, I have a black cat. So I am kind of partial to black kitties. These aren't Halloween. These are more home decor and stuff. But I got these because I thought they were really cute. And I thought these would make like a nice little gift to put in my husband's stocking. And maybe he could put this on his desk at his office. Because it says, better days are just around the corner. They are called Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. <laughs> uh, and then this one I thought is perfect for me. Sarcasm is just one of the many services I offer. That's perfect for me. So maybe I'll put this on his desk and this will be off for my desk. <laughs> I saw lots of you people out there in YouTube land hauling these and I thought when am I going to see these at my Dollar Tree? We have to try these. So finally found them. Uh, the Happy Swing, I guess they're cookie sticks and my, my family loves it when I bring home different snacks from the dollar stores and they try them and we nay or yay them. And it's just fun. It's just something, you know, they, they love snacks and they love trying stuff. So it's, this is great. So I look forward to saying what everybody thinks of these. These ones are ma Makno or Chevro. Okay. Nut Delight. Nut Delight. Coco Delight. And these are packages of 150 grams, by the way. And this one is Coconut delight and finally vanilla delight pretty boring but they do smell really really nice uh, these 
jars of Sure Scents uh, Fresh Linen Scent. These are the 50% more bonus packs. They're just a little jiggly bead things that kind of melt eventually and you know you peel this back and it just stick I stick these in closets and it just you know makes the closet smell nice especially when I especially since I have a house full of boys you know their closets always smell so lovely some more noodles for my son the noodle lover these for a three pack of those you know they just those really inexpensive noodles you throw in a pot of boiling water and add the little pouch of salt and there you go you got a snack or a meal I lived on these when I was in university by the way so yeah because it was only like 30 in my day you could get like four of these for a dollar so yeah it was like 25 cents a meal picked up uh, some lovely headbands just because I thought the, the flowers and the trim were just so so pretty I could use this for some decorating of some sort some craft project not really for me to wear and they also had this one which I thought was really really pretty these are lovely on, a, on a, some of these funky hair ties that's before I had gone to Dollarama and seen the, the big black ones there that I, I really like. So I don't know if I'll like these because they're kind of big, but I'll try them. And so you get three of these on a, like a little chain here. And they also have the smaller ones. So when you get four, yeah, you get four of these different colored ones. They're a little smaller. So I'll... I want to try these in my hair, see if I like them. This was new, the little bottles of nail glue. I don't know if it's any good. I don't know if it's different from the nail glue that they usually sell at Dollar Tree. So I bought this. If anybody's tried this, you know, let me know what you uh, thought of it. I saw the cute little list pads uh, with the hard covers and the little band to hold things and hold your papers in place and I got one of each that there was because I couldn't decide which I liked the best so I got this one with the cute owls this one with the, the mugs of coffee or hot chocolate with whipped cream oh I picked up a few of these little clip-on lights and there's a little switch right here so that you know they're just battery lights uh, yes these could are great to travel with they're just also great to put in like a closet or a cupboard that you know it's kind of dark it's hard to see in there sometimes so I can clip this to a shelf and then I'd have a little bit of light to see inside that that cupboard. I never noticed these before. Maybe you have. Uh, these are silicone sink strainers. I'm familiar with the metal silk uh, sink strainers, but not the silicone. And I just thought, oh, these might be fun because uh, these aren't noisy. You know, I find it's e you know it's nice and squishy. It's easy to you know dump the stuff in the garbage you just like plop the stuff out instead of going bang 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 on the edge of the garbage can so I thought, I'm looking forward to giving these a try and if they don't work they make a nice hat for a doll oh and here's the other list pad I this is my favorite one in all of the list pads and I, I just love the look of this burlap with the lace I just think it's really pretty. It's like a, um, I was telling you they have a lot of these wooden things that you can buy to, for your crafting. So they have plaques like this. I got one of those. They also have oval ones. They're very nice. They're nicely finished. They have the holes at the back so you can hang these on a wall. And they also had different kinds of boxes. I showed you the, like the pencil box before, but they also had little boxes like this with a hinge 
and a little magnetic thing here so you can close it and it just like see it it stays closed so these are great for craft projects DIYs gift giving so I got that. Uh, some new nail stickers in blue in the blue and I also got the pink one I don't know where it went but the pink one pink with the black Ta-da! I saw other people hauling this and I was hoping to find it and I did so I jumped on it. I had no more room in my cart but I didn't care. I was bringing this home. So uh, yeah, I got it. The platter with the pumpkin. The acrylic platter with pumpkin. I think it's so cute. I love this for fall. And I also got a package of the paper plates. And the, oh yes, the napkins. They also have the pretty napkins to match the platter. And of course, as you know, I'll probably use, I'll probably save a lot of these just for crafting, but I will be using these around Thanksgiving. And these ones um, with the leaves. Again, these can be used throughout the fall. They're very nice. And... Oh, I got this little guy. I thought he was really, really cute. He looks like the garden stakes I hauled uh, last week. And he said, and I thought he would be cute in front of like a candle maybe. But I just, he's just so cute. And it's a little owl and this is a glass belly. And it says autumn. Another little decoration. Uh, Oh, I did pick up a package of the cookie cutters because, uh, yes, there's an owl in here, a maple leaf, I think there's maybe an oak leaf, I'm not sure, and maybe an acorn, a pumpkin, yeah, oak leaf for sure, so, yeah. These are fun, of course, for cookies, but they're also fun for using with clay to make clay crafts. I picked up uh, some of these floral, what do you call these? Strands, I guess. Maple leaf garden garlands. And uh, I picked up some of these with, they already have like a little pumpkin. If you can see the pumpkin there and some berries so i picked up a few of those i got two of these clear acrylic shallow dishes and i thought these would be great to make some sort of natural nature kind of display perhaps fairy garden also um, to put on my console tables so I just thought, oh, I could use glass, but glass is very heavy and this is light. So, so I got these. And if I, not, if I don't do a craft with them, I could use them for food because that's what they're sold for. <laughs> these are those uh, acrylic party platter thingies, but I thought I would use these for decorating. Oh, I got a package of this cork, the cork sheets. Uh, by the way, for those of you who have die cutting machines, whether they're the manual or the electric, you can die cut cork and you can cut it with scissors, of course, and there's so many ways that you can uh, use this for crafting and decorating. I bought the right size of screen guard for my new iPhone 7 Plus. <laughs> Such a good deal at the Dollar Tree. My that Dollar Tree that I went uh, had the stamps. I've never seen the stamps at any of my Dollar Trees. I've seen other people haul them, so I was really happy to get these uh, acrylic stamps to add to my extensive stamp collection. But as a crafter person, I can never have enough tools. So I'm justified. And these are so inexpensive. 
They're only a dollar twenty-five. My goodness. And oh, la last but not least. Okay. How could I not get these? These are so cute. They're the little like woodland animals, and look, there's little a little mouse with coming out of a doorway. That's look at the details. It's just so cute. So yeah, I indulge. I know I don't need more stickers. These are adorable. So that is my extensive Dollar Tree haul that I did about three or four four days ago already. But I did not get around to filming until now. Oh, thank you for hanging in there, and I hope you uh, enjoyed watching me display my uh, new stash. Like now, I have to go find room to put all this stuff, and that's going to take me probably the rest of the day. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this now. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would so appreciate. Uh, thumbs up. I hope you like it. Uh, please leave comments, share also, that helps a lot. And uh, if you have any questions or suggestions, please uh, let me know. And uh, so take care of yourself, and I'll catch you after the next haul. Bye!